Yes, sir. Okay, let's start. Dear ladies and gentlemen, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on the time zone you are living in. I good hope night. that you are all well and healthy in this extraordinary time with the COVID-19. I'm Dominic Plattner, the ITTF High Performance Manager, and I'm very happy and proud to warmly welcome all of you to our first ITTF High Performance and Development webinar with the topic table tennis in the time of COVID-19. I want to also warmly welcome our ITF High Performance and Development Director, uh, Polona Cehovin. Pass over to you, Polona. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, good afternoon, good evening, good morning from my end as well and on behalf of the HPD team. Thank you very much for making the time and joining us in the first ever webinar. Um, as you know, uh, we initiated uh, the series under the motto of table tennis at your fingertips. And this is the very first one we are hosting. Unfortunately, the reason behind is not as merry. Uh, it's due to the in unprecedented and very challenging times we are living in, we are witnessing and also our sport is no exception for that. On the other end, uh, we wanted to take the opportunity uh, to reconnect uh, because we do not really see in person during events or activities to reconnect with our big global table tennis family, hoping also to provide some useful tips or information or news. Uh, that's why the webinar is one of the initiatives that we are launching recently. You may have already noticed that we increased um, some posts, some articles, and we have some other ideas on how to overcome these times, hoping that they will end as soon as possible and we can get back to business and to what we all love to do so much. I would like to thank the panelists for taking for paving the way for this first uh, webinar. And again, to everyone who made the time and has the interest to join us. And last but not least, also to the team that worked behind the scenes uh, for the webinar and all the other tools uh, that we will be progressively launching in the future. So please uh, take time, uh, relax, uh, be interactive at the sections you will be asked for to uh, get involved in. And uh, we are also looking to re receiving uh, feedback from you at the end. But over to Dominic, who will explain more. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear Polona. Uh, I want to talk shortly about our webinar code, about our rules. So please uh, listen carefully. Uh, to all the attendees, please move yourself and turn off your videos. Just the panelists will have uh, the webcam and micro on. Uh, please don't touch anything regarding the recording or our presentation slides. Uh, please leave your questions in the chat. We will try to answer as many as possible in the questions and answer part of the webinar. Thank you very much. And now over to the introduction of the panelists. Uh, I am very happy and uh, I thank uh, the panelists very much for taking the time uh, to uh, have this webinar with us. So I would like to start with uh, Soran Primorac from Croatia. He is the chair of the ITTF Athletes Commission, seven-time Olympian and multiple world championship medalists in singles, doubles and team events. Hello, Soran. Hello, Dominic. Uh, thank you very much for your invitation. I'm really happy to be here and uh, I'm really excited to have a very nice chat and then we will really discuss 
about table tennis in COVID times, which is very special table tennis, but uh, when we are here all together, I think we can pass these hard moments together and then praying that, that the normal situation will become soon again. Hello to everyone once more and uh, I'm looking forward for the nice discussion. Uh, in New York City. Uh, hi everyone, um, this is a very difficult time for all of us. I know we miss table tennis, uh, but uh, we will uh, go through this together. And I just hope everyone is well and thank you for the opportunity. African Games, African Cup, and African Championship. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm very happy to be with all of you, and I'm looking forward to this discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Dina. Also happy to have you on board. Over thank to you so much. Over to Robert Gados from Austria, former European champion, doubles and team gold medalist. Hello, Robby. <laughs> Hi, Dominic. Hi, everybody. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, I hope we will have a nice talk uh, about table tennis. It's a long time. We, we cannot play, we cannot talk or we cannot discuss. And um, I hope we will enjoy a little bit of table tennis time. Thank you. Thank you. We will, for sure. And last but not least, uh, Sharad Kamal Ahanta from India, uh, 2006 Commonwealth Games single champion and longest uh, serving member of the Indian national team. Hello, Sharad. Hello, hello everyone from IDTF and uh, from the Table Tennis Fraternity. It's really nice that uh, you, know, you started this uh, webinar. All come to about our different situations in different countries and all around the world. So I'm really happy to be here and whatever I can contribute, I'm really glad I can do that. So over to you, Dominic. Thank you very much. We are also glad and happy to have you on board. Yeah, that that is our that our panelists. So last but not least, I welcome our experience. Mm -hmm. I did uh, the 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 we send all sorts of resources to New Rochelle. Uh, hello, hi to everyone. I I guess now we have almost uh, from all six continents uh, attendees from uh, for this uh, first uh, IDTF uh, webinar, and uh, and it's great. Uh, I want just to remind that uh, Sharat was the, the last player who won the last uh, last. Uh, uh, Pro Tour in Oman, <laughs> so <laughs> he's the freshest one <laughs> being champion. Uh, so we have uh, we have some questions for you guys, and um, and then uh, for beneficial, of course, of uh, all the attendees. Of course, the the, the topic is the uh, the table tennis during during this uh, this time. And um, I have a first question for uh, <clears throat> for Zoki. Uh, yeah, Zoki, you of course you are uh, the, the the chairman of the asset commission. I have to interrupt you. Sorry, please yeah. uh, to all the attendees, please mute yourself. Otherwise, the quality will not that will not yeah. be that good. Thank you very much, and then we can hear Massimo and all the others very clear. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I was saying that uh, Zoki, you are um, the, the chairman of the asset commission. Uh, now we have uh, we have the opportunity, you know, to to talk uh, to all different uh, uh, parts of the of the world. You are also a member of uh, executive uh, committee, so I just uh, um, briefly maybe you can uh, you can tell us what is your uh, your role inside of this. Uh, I believe a very important uh, commission because it represents all the all the athletes. I was an athlete. I still still. <laughs> being athletes so it's a great opportunity if you can tell us a little bit more about uh, 
the assets commission, especially in this time. Thank you, Massimo. Uh, yes, it's a very, very important time for Athletes Commission. And uh, in one way, it's, uh, it will be very good for us that people will hear about us that we exist because <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know how many uh, players, they, they are aware of the Athletes Commission, uh, that we are the voice of the athletes inside the executive committee of ITTF. Uh, but uh, I would just say that uh, uh, we are working quite hard because we have a conference calls almost every second week. It's a very crucial moment for, for the athletes and and opinion of the athletes is very important inside the executive committee. And uh, I have to say that I have a very, very uh, uh, active and uh, active uh, and skilled members inside of my uh, commission. Uh, and uh, it's really it's a pleasure for me to work with them. Uh, yeah, there are many different issues regarding the these hard times of uh, COVID-19 and uh, uh, no one knows uh, when the, the tournament will resume because from yesterday there is a, a fresh news that, that uh, ITTF stopped all the activities until end of July mm -hmm. and that means the, there, are, there is no tournaments uh, and it's very a uh, lot of insane, uh, the, the players doesn't know when they will uh, when they will restart with the tournaments many of them they don't know when they will start with the practice and it's, it's very confused situation all over the world there is no one part of the world that people are free from covid and uh, and i could say that we are giving our best we are very proactive we are we uh, organized the survey with all the athletes uh, uh, and I think the survey was very successful to see how the athletes are coping with the hard situation and the lack of practice. And uh, also, we uh, recently we, we we released one uh, educational platform for the for the athletes that they can educate themselves uh, to during these hard times where they cannot practice. There are many uh, online courses organized by ITTF and the High Performance and, and Development Department, and also by the ITTF, uh, by the IOC, International Olympic Committee and World Anti-Doping Agency. Uh, this is just a, a small introduction. We are working very hard and I'm really uh, keen to hear your opinion and uh, your questions, uh, how we could uh, represent you better and uh, what, is, what, is, what are you suffering now and what is the, the biggest problem during this COVID-19 COVID uh, period. Thank you, thank you very much, Zoki. I guess uh, Dominic, uh, you have uh, you have some also questions for uh, for the the great athletes we have uh, we have today, and uh, so back to you, Dominic. Thank you very much, Massimo. Uh, yeah, we do have. Uh, I would like to start uh, with Dina. Uh, Dina, uh, how do you cope uh, with this difficult time? Um, well, actually, yes, it's not easy at all because it's a very big change in any athlete's career or, or uh, life. So, yeah, but fortunately, we just have a table at home. So that's something very good to me because now I have a chance to practice and I also have very good training partners in the family. So I'm lucky with that, too. So... Yeah, I'm just trying to stay fit and practice a lot and do some physical fitness sessions also. Yeah, it's not easy, of course, because I miss the competition a lot. Uh, but at least I'm trying to keep fit and stay training, yeah. Thank you very much. I would also like to know from Adriana how she copes with this difficult time. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I think I'm lucky that I have my sister, that she's also a great table tennis player. Uh, we're practicing here in my home. We don't have a very big space, but I think we can do some service and receive. Uh, I think it's really difficult for all of us, table tennis players, because we need to be active during the year. And now we are just like in our houses and it's more difficult than ever. But I think if we keep practicing or like um, maybe watching videos or mental health, I think we're going to be okay. And I just hope this ends very good so we can get back to the table again. 
So, so Adriana, Adriana, so you can improve your uh, table tennis close to the table, very close to the table, not, <laughs> not going super exactly. far away. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> That's a good, good, good part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, Adriana. Uh, I would, or we would like to know how, how the situation in India looks like. Uh, Sharad, how do you cope with this difficult time? Uh, well, India, the situation is really bad now. Uh, we've been on a lockdown, like a complete lockdown. We cannot step out of our house or uh, apartments we can there's only the supermarket which is open from uh, 8 a.m to 12 a.m or uh, 12 noon in the mornings uh, so and the pharmacy is open so these are the only two things which is open and we cannot travel the police is everywhere really everywhere uh, i don't have a table at home so i think the other players are quite lucky that they have a table at home uh, and uh, i there's really no table tennis happening, uh, really completely no, no table tennis happening at all. I'm able to do some fitness at home, some workouts at home, but that's, you know, that's just basic maintenance. Um, and uh, the lockdown in India has been extended by another two weeks. So it's, it's officially eight weeks of a lockdown, complete lockdown. And two weeks before that, that is exactly when I came back from uh, Oman, uh, they were like, starting to have the lockdown, like not the official one, but then, you know, slowly people, uh, they said not to travel and everything was, was a little bit, bit more open. Mm -hmm. uh, so the last ball I touched was in the finals of the Oman Open. So thank you, Max, for uh, uh, making me remember that I was the last champion. But that, is the, <laughs> but that's, that was the last ball I played in, uh, <laughs> in the last uh, two months now. So it's it's really hard for us here. Yeah, it's real, it's really very hard. We, uh, Sharat, can I ask you a question? Here, yes. Zoran. Yeah. Yes, Hi, sir. Sharat. It's nice yeah. to see you. Uh, we had a good discussion in uh, executive committee, and Mr. Maharasan raised the question: How long you will need to get back to the shape? And this is very important to communicate with the athletes. Uh, in Japan, they have a, uh, they made the rule that they will give them a hundred days before. The, the the resume the tournaments i think it's very good little i think it's quite a lot what do you think from your point of view how long you need to be back in physical shape and after all the the the, the match shape you know what i mean uh, the uh, the last uh, weeks when we were in, uh, when we were in lockdown we had a lot of discussion like i personally had a lot of uh, webinars where i attended where i spoke to a lot of uh, professionals and one of the professional He's a physio. Uh, uh, he's into physiology, so physiotherapy and you know the biomechanics. So he was saying that uh, uh, if we take a, like a complete break, we need at least two, or more than more than two months to be back at the shape where we are. Okay, of course I don't expect to be in the shape where I was, but at least I think I think we we would need fifty. 50 to 60 days to, you know, first, first to start off. So first, I don't know when we are going to start off. So that is a major question. And from the day we start, I think we need to slowly build up the practice. Like uh, even in uh, when the season starts in Europe, we we have three to four weeks of preparation yeah? uh, after the summer break. So as the summer break is for uh, yeah, three weeks, three four weeks. Uh, so I think more or less. I would say 50 to 60 days before we can come back into, you know, active competitions. Yeah. Thank you for your answer because it's it's in line what we we thought in athletes commission and we gave the recommendation also about 60 days. It was consensus inside the athletes commission that you will need around 16 days to get back in the shape. Thank yeah. you very much for your feedback. And I would like to hear also the from the others. Uh, to get also their opinion how long they, they think they need to get back in shape. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you also, Toki, for the interesting question. And uh, yeah, also, Charlotte, to you, thank you very much. And hopefully the situation will get better as soon as possible in India. All the best. Yeah. Thank you. So, last but not least, uh, I would like to pass over to... Uh, Fully sunny, sunny Spain, sunny Granada, 
to Robert Gardosh. How do you cope with this difficult time, Robbie? Hi, everybody. Um, my situation is uh, quite different, I think, because I'm a little bit older, maybe than some other players. Uh, I enjoy my family time. I have three children. One, uh, my daughter Emma, just born in January, so I am happy to see her growing in this small age. Uh, I'm happy to be with my family uh, as uh, never before. But of course, on the table tennis side of my job side. It's a very hard time. Um, I can practice uh, home. I have home a table. I have home one uh, robot uh, with one I can practice. I have also one bike, uh, home bike. But uh, we have same rules than uh, in India since seven weeks. Uh, we are locked down in the house. Uh, today was the first day that um, we can go out to run. But just uh, one hour per day and just some hours. Um, but I think the most difficult uh, for the old players is that we don't know when we can start. Uh, I mean, I knew already before that uh, we will be out of tournaments, out of games, uh, minimum at least four months. And this is really, really hard. It's never happened before. Uh, I think for nobody that you have four months, no games, no matches. And uh, I think this is the biggest part what we have to fight like uh, mentally. I mean, in the beginning, I was happy to be home with my children, happy to practice uh, in my uh, house and this. But finally, you think for what I practice now, I mean, in four months is the next match uh, for what I'm practicing, uh, well, for what I uh, fighting, what I sweating now. And this is, I think, the hardest uh, think for all players that it's quite far away uh, where we can uh, play or where we can do something. To come back for the question of Soki, um, I think it's really difficult, really different uh, way to answer because if you are locked down uh, and you have nothing uh, to make, uh, nothing, uh, you are like uh, in an apartment, it's really if you are locked down six, seven weeks, you cannot do many things. As I believe you need at least 60 days to come back. But uh, in many countries, you could go out in Germany, in Austria, you could go out to run, you could go out to walk, so you could make uh, move your body. Um, then I think it's uh, even less you need to come back at least to some some shape. Uh, but to have a big shape, you need uh, games. We are in Europe, I think uh, out of Asia, we are all of the world. We are used to play leagues. We are used to play every week games and this help us to, to be in shape. And this is, uh, I think, this September, it will be go out. We have no leagues, nothing. So it's a good question. It's hard to answer that when we can do the next tournament. But I'm enjoying the family time. I make the best of it. And uh, from the sports side, it's a really hard time, mentally and physically. Thank you very much, Robi. Thank you very much for your insights. And yeah, we all hope uh, to get as soon as possible back to the table and uh, to see you, to see the great players again, fighting for medals and so on. Thank you very much. And I guess uh, our ITTF uh, High Performance Elite Coach Massimo has another question for Zoran, right? Hey, so yeah. Well, actually, he anticipated a little bit regarding the, the, the back in, the, in shape. So, Zoran, uh, you, you played uh, uh, seven times the Olympic. Uh, you are the most experienced uh, amongst, uh, amongst us. And uh, so, what, what would you be your suggestion? Suppose you have to play the, 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 the Olympics, okay, now postponed, but anyway, so what would you do in this time? What would you recommend or uh, help players, uh, uh, advise uh, uh, those who are here and maybe those who are uh, listening around the world? Thank you, Massimo, for a uh, for nice question. Uh, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> maybe I have, a, I have a most experience, but all the other panelists, they are very experienced uh, players and they have... Uh, uh, they played a lot of, lot of games in their career. It's a very hard question. In my case, what I will do, of course, what Robbie said, it's very important that you stay mentally healthy because uh, now it was, you are used to have one kind of life which is organized for every day and you know your plan almost for next year. And now uh, you are not sure of anything of your career. And many of them, they have financial problems. I can tell you that a lot of uh, uh, players, they are not getting the salary from their clubs. 
they have to feed their, uh, their families, they have to give the breads <laughs> to the, 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 the close ones. And it's really tough situation, but, but it's for everyone is like this and you, we have to be strong and mentally as a sportsman, we are very strong and we can really suffer a lot. What I will do in this moment, I will try to think differently, not what I don't have. I will try to think what I have now, what kind of advantage I can use from this situation. Because normally there is a lot of pros and cons when you are running from the tournament left and right, and then you don't have time to, to take care about your body. You don't have care. You don't have time to practice the things what you want to improve and that so on and so on. That means I would like to now what I can work on my I can work on my mental preparation. That means I can do a lot of uh, exercise to to increase my 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 focus, my mental training, which maybe probably during my career I was always. I didn't have enough time to do this. Also, there are a lot of, you will be <laughs> surprised, but I'm doing a lot of uh, uh, exercise on YouTube. You have really like uh, for workout, you can do the many different kind of uh, workout. And there are very nice girls and the nice boys, let's say for both genders. They can, you could see them and they, were, they are practicing quite nice. And really, you can make very nice practice because you have to use what you can. Plus, you, I will for sure look a lot, lot of the videos uh, to analyze the game of my myself and also of my opponent because for guys who are playing Olympics, Olympics are in one year and may, you will never have enough time to make this technical analysis what you, what you have now. This is, let's say, this is the table tennis perspective and as Robbie said, it's good to be with the, your family, enjoy your family because often you, you don't have time to enjoy with them and just take this advantage uh, to be like real father, real, real uh, um, husband or real, real wife and enjoy this time. And on the other hand, I will, I will just recommend you that, uh, that you uh, engage yourself in some online courses to, that, you want to, that you wanted to learn something beside table tennis. Or you go to some kind of, of uh, uh, online uh, studies, which is really available all over the world and also ITTF high performance and, and development plus with Artists Commission, we, we, uh, we, uh, we put one uh, educational platform for the athletes where, they, where you can find uh, these online courses on one, on one uh, page. And uh, I mean, read some good book, but don't, don't think what you don't have. Think what you can do now and try to think positive from this hard situation. And I think this is the main goal and main thing uh, what you should try, and also to plan even these days, this week, what is coming. Try to plan, make some small goals, what you can achieve, which are achievable. And this will make you happy, this will keep you mentally shaped, and also, as I said before, practice as much as you can. Someone who are locked down, they have to practice at home. There are many different kinds of exercise that could, that could you do at home with your own weight, with some, I don't know, on YouTube, you can find many, many different kinds. And for the others, they can go a little bit outside, go outside, practice, try, try to be in shape. And you, you will see when, when, the, when the COVID uh, crisis uh, comes to end, you will not, uh, the, everything will start so fast. And if you are not ready, you will struggle to get back in the shape. Great, great, great answer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, yeah, we have to think a little bit, little different now. And uh, it's very, very, very right to focus, uh, to focus on, on areas where uh, normally maybe you don't have time to, to uh, devote time and then, and then to, to prepare. Is it to me still, uh, uh, despite the, the the tough time, still a, a very good opportunity, very good opportunity to rethink yourself, to to, to find a different way to get set for a, for a future in the challenging time. So thank you very much. It's a great answer. Thank you. Back to you, Dominic. Something I'll, else for players, I guess. I will just add, Massimo, on this the the that Winston Churchill said always: never waste good crisis. That means this is like you always you should take opportunity on one crisis. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely true. <laughs> Thank you again, Dominic. Uh, you're you're muted. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Thank you very much, uh, Massimo, and thank you very much, Toki, for the 
interesting statements. Uh, back to the players. Uh, I would like to start again with the ladies, uh, this time with Adriana. Adriana, uh, we all were ready to make the setup thinking of the World uh, Championships and Olympic qualifications. In relation to the current COVID-19 lockdown, how do you mentally set your future? And what do you miss the most when you are thinking about your usual life during this during the season? Uh, well, yeah, it's uh, really difficult like to keep up uh, motivated because there's no tournament. So you're just like practicing maybe for the future. Uh, when I got, uh, when I knew that the Olympics were going to be like postponed, I was a little bit sad because I think every athlete want to play uh, Olympics this year, wants to play. And yeah, it was a really sad moment for me, but then I realized maybe I have more time, I can prepare better myself. And now in Puerto Rico, the situation is not that bad with uh, COVID. Uh, there's like uh, 1,000 cases but people are staying in their homes, so I think it's really good. And I'm just practicing with Melanie, uh, just watching videos, maybe learning a language. So just enjoying my time and trying to, try to pass this time the best I can. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But uh, how is it for you to, to have at the moment just, I can say one sparring partner, your sister? How, how is it for you from the mental uh, point of view? Uh, well, mentally, it's uh, it's challenging, uh, but I keep trying to tell myself uh, like to keep up, uh, never lose uh, like hope. And I talk with my um, mental trainer. I talk with her. She always gives me tips, and she always tell me to just motivate myself every day and just keep thinking about table tennis. Yeah. Thank you very much. And also, as uh, Soki mentioned before, we should think uh, about the positive things and what we we have and what we can do and not we what, not what we don't have. Yeah. So I totally agree. Thank you. Uh, over to Dina. How do you mentally set your future and what do you miss the most when you are thinking about your usual life during the season? Um, well, you know, um, I usually prefer to just focus on, on what I have now, like, I'm not thinking about uh, when the competitions are going to be held or something, I'm just trying to really enjoy this time because, you know, I, I think I've never had a chance like this before to spend this amount of time with my family and I think I'm learning new qualities and new things with this gathering and, um, yeah, of course I'm trying to keep fit and I'm not, like, uh, forgetting about table tennis, but at the same time, I'm trying to enjoy the other things. Um, yeah, and about the future, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure, but um, I'm just trying to keep it at the moment. Okay, so uh, the Olympic Games, they are at the moment, I can say, totally out of your mind or, or still there? Of course, of course, it is still there, and I'm trying my best to, like, when I practice, uh, I have some things in mind that, for example, uh, I wanted to do some changes in my game that I, I think I never had the chance to, to do before because the time was a little bit limited. Now, since I have more time, I think I have the chance to, to change these things in my game, and I hope that they can make a good difference in my level. And of course, this is all for. The, the big goal, which is the Olympic Games. Thank you very much, Tina. Uh, over to Roby. Roby, how is it with you? How do you mentally set your future and what do you miss the most? Before I was missing uh, mostly my family. So now <laughs> I'm inside. Uh, I mean, I'm 41 years old. I'm very happy to be home, to see my children, to to teach them. I am, we have school at home uh, on the computer every day, every morning, uh, two, three hours. I am the new teacher. Maybe I'm the harder, harder teacher than the teacher of the school, but um, I'm enjoying, I enjoying to see my children growing. Uh, I'm enjoying the time uh, that I get to know better my children. Uh, and this is uh, something, there is no price for this. Uh, and I enjoy really, really much the family time. 
But uh, I feel bad if I if there is one day I don't play uh, some balls in the robot because I don't want it. I mean, I practice quite hard. Uh, I make quite we make quite big sacrifice for um, in this year for the Olympic Games, and uh, I didn't want that they cancel the Olympic or that they postpone the Olympic Games. But um, I know the health is it's much more important, and uh, they had to make it. But uh, because my family make a big sacrifice for all this season, I was very much on the way. Um, and this is a little bit hard to accept that now this is almost for nothing uh, because I have to be good shape uh, in good shape next season, not this season. But um, I try to play at least uh, every two days some table tennis. Uh, I try to make every day some one, one and a half hour physical. Uh, but not of the. At least my now is my children. My family is the is the first uh, priority in my life. And uh, when they give me time, then uh, I go to practice. So maybe I try to wake up a little bit earlier before the school start uh, to practice. But today I was there was no school today. <laughs> I was practicing one and a half hour, and they come to me like three four times. Uh, I need this. I need one bread and. I had to stop three, four times the practice. This is uh, when somebody practice home, but uh, this is doesn't matter. I think the most important that um, next season uh, again we I can start good or uh, I can survive physically quite good this uh, this period, and um, the table tennis will come back uh, sooner or later. I think this will be no problem. Thank you very much, Robbie. Uh, over to India, to Sharad. Uh, what about you, Sharad? Uh, how do you mentally set your future and uh, what do you miss the most? Yeah, Dominic, you, you asked me, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, like um, as Robbie was, uh, it's, it's a little bit hard to, to think about, you know, do I need to start to practice now and then, okay, for what am I practicing? The levels of motivation uh, is is very low at this point. So, um, as as yeah, as you're asking, what I think most was when I was was of course, uh, as everybody is saying, uh, spending time with family. But then now I think uh, uh, looking forward to start playing table tennis because I haven't played anything at all. And when I see uh, my my colleagues, uh, let's say my my friends, are uh, playing table tennis elsewhere in the world, and they're able to practice. That makes me more anxious, you know. Like, ah, they are doing. They are already able to practice. When, what if I want to practice? And also in the chat, uh, Satyan uh, Sekaran had rightly asked, how will the ITTF deal with uh, different world, different countries having uh, different lockdown rules? Uh, so yeah, that's how it is. But uh, at the same time, you know, the main preparation for me, uh, my main goal in the recent times was the uh, Tokyo Olympic Games. And now that uh, that's been postponed by a year, it's uh, it's it's really uh, <clears throat> difficult to keep mot be motivated because firstly, we don't know uh, wh when uh, the you know virus will settle down and what will be the process again for uh, Olympic qualification. And, you know, there are a lot of issues with uh, with this. And when uh, when we don't know the answers, to be motivated enough to go ahead and work work on, that is that is a difficult part at this point of time. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I think also that, uh, yeah, you have to be mentally very tough in this current situation, but as we are sportmen and normally sportmen are, I can say, mentally yeah, on a good level. Yeah, so we will manage this. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, over, over to Massimo. Yeah, guys, we have to think that we are table tennis players and we are strong, actually, you know. So <laughs> comparing other, other countries, other, other uh, sports, uh, we are super strong. So I, I'm, I'm always uh, positive and uh, always thinking that uh, uh, things will be, will be better. We will overcome to the, to the situation. 
and uh, because we are strong. And this is the, the, the most important thing. So, uh, Sharat was uh, mentioning about the Olympics, the postponing Olympics. We know that we have a, um, a lot of, uh, a lot of um, competition postponed or cancelled and so on. So uh, again, to the to the top, the most experienced uh, uh, Olympic uh, players, to Zoki. What do you think? Uh, I can be also for other players if you want, guys. What do you think about this postponing the Olympic uh, Olympic Games, Zoki? Of course, it was a must, uh, was necessary. But uh, from uh, our point of view, uh, Athletes Commission point of view, and in general to all of us, what do you think will uh, will be the consequence for uh, all of us? Yeah, thank you, Massimo. Uh, I think it yeah. was a common common uh, acceptance of all sports all over the world that that Olympics should be postponed because you see the. There are many countries they couldn't practice. Even you see uh, uh, in India, people are completely locked down and in uh, Spain also. And what happened in China? I mean, it was impossible also uh, to, to play Olympics in these circumstances. That this was the only normal, normal uh, decision by IOC. I was a little bit surprised they waited so long because uh, we also the, uh, the football uh, European Championship was postponed already maybe one month before the IOC made this decision. Uh, actually, as you see, the president of organizing committee of the of the Tokyo Olympics said if there will be still some kind of uh, 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 like some kind of pandem uh, pandemia uh, issue about COVID, uh, if you don't have a vaccine against the COVID, maybe they will also the cancel the Olympic Games. He said it uh, a few days ago. Um, I I cannot say I don't have a magic uh, ball to say what's going on in the future. Uh, it's tough situation for whole sport. I mean, I I think tourism and the sport there are two uh, two thing two like uh, two things they they suffered the most in in all over the world. And uh, when will we resume? Nobody knows. I I read uh, the article from from uh, Australian director of, uh, of Australian Open and he said that they will be happy if, uh, if tennis resumes in the beginning of the new year. That means mm, the, the only way it was to postpone Olympics, this affected whole sport, this affected also the IOC financially, this affected the organizers in Tokyo very much financially. You know that, Olymp that uh, Olympic Village was already sold out for, to, the, to the people, all these apartments, and now they have a big problems. They have to pay the people for another year. It's a huge, huge problem. We have also a big problem with the World Championships in table tennis. I mean, it's already two times they postponed it. And now we have a new date for, for the for end of September. And as recently I spoke with Rio Sing Min, who is the chair of the organizing committee and the president of Korean Table Tennis Association, he said they are struggling a lot. They have a lot of losses. And also the major of Busan, he resigned, who was the biggest supporter of the, of the World Championships. There are many, many uh, bad, bad uh, uh, news about the sport. But as I said before, let's take it positively. It's all over this, all over, uh, all world is suffering and sport together with, the, with them. And uh, let's, as Massimo said, let's be strong, take the positive way, what we can do now. And uh, this will end for sure, but, but when, nobody knows. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very can, much. Can I say something to this? Of course you can. Some small. <laughs> 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 no, I think um, with, 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 with table tennis, I know in the rules in Austria, in Spain, uh, we still don't have rules. Uh, how it will be after the lockdown in, in four weeks, we are finished maybe with the lockdown. But the uh, major rules in uh, Germany and Austria, and I think almost all of the world is that in, uh, if you are in one hall, or in a closed uh, event in the hall, normally cannot be more than 50 people inside. If it's outside, then it's maybe you can have uh, more people. And um, 
in Austria they say normally this will be at least until September, October, uh, November will be like this. And we in table tennis, if you if you play a tournament, we are 300 people, we are 300 players at least, plus the coaches and uh, everybody. So I think the ITTF have to think maybe about something that uh, somehow organize in the hall uh, when the players can go in, when you can go to the practice hall and if they have maybe one concept about uh, about something, how we use the hall, how we use the hotels, how we use everything, then maybe we can start earlier than then a football game that is maybe 10,000 people there or I don't know some other sports uh, there is uh, many ex many spectators because with the spectators as it said but we don't have so big problems there is not, not so some thousand uh, on the tournaments but we as a players we are 300 and I think uh, no one country will allow this in August or in September to have uh, inside the hall so many people in the same time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, well I, I, I would take the opportunity because we, we are receiving uh, some uh, nice questions uh, from the attendees. And there is one uh, related to the, um, to the, yeah, to the safety measures that uh, can, be, can be taken maybe in future. We, we of course, we, we, uh, we haven't uh, um, done any, any particular until uh, we have more information uh, from, the, uh, from, the, um, from other uh, stakeholders. So one of the ideas, okay, table tennis uh, can be, uh, of course, uh, individual sport is definitely uh, we can keep a social distance because <laughs> we are away three meters, let's say. Uh, but the ball basically is the one uh, the, the one thing that uh, is in common. We, we we both can touch the ball. So some are saying actually, Roy, uh, if uh, if some restrictions are there and uh, um, uh, making the players uh, wearing the gloves. So, uh, what, what is your uh, what, uh, what your, opi uh, your opinion? Uh, this is for uh, for all the uh, players. Uh, what is your opinion if tomorrow we have to wear the, the gloves and then uh, and then play one by one? The, well, maybe we can start from Sharat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. I think uh, first firstly. We would need time to practice that, to play with gloves and, uh, you know. Uh, so, we will be, we'll be actually good uh, if the IDTF is able to design some uh, some procedure for practicing or even just going into the hall or, you know, I don't, probably, of course, for tournaments, yes, you need to, this is, this is your main forte, this is where you need to look into it, but uh, even for practice, you know, it will be easier if all of us can come up with some plans like uh, some in Germany. I heard uh, from some clubs that, OK, one player has a white ball and the other player has an orange ball. So the balls you don't uh, uh, don't get exchanged. So some, something like this. I, I, yeah, uh, there can be some rules which are formulated and uh, we, can, we could try it before actually going into the tournament. Because if we go, have to go into a tournament and put on a glove, I don't know how, how I would feel. <laughs> I, I would not know. So I think it will be better if we will have a little bit more time to uh, prepare for any of the new situations. Great. Uh, can I, can I, Massimo, can I add something? Yes, 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 yeah, please. Yeah, yes, please. Yeah, we, I mean it's 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 very good question and and uh, I raised this question in the EC meeting because we would like to get uh, info when the practice and tournaments will resume, like sport specific guidelines about uh, health measures, like they are doing this for the World Health Organization for the normal people, but we would like to get for specific sports uh, special measures how the players have to. Uh, deal and how they have to behave when they go inside the hall and this is and I hope the the science committee uh, together with the ITTF will develop these uh, guidelines for the athletes because they will need this when they resume the practice 
And also there is a lot of question mark, uh, how about doubles, how about the mixed doubles, because then in mixed doubles and doubles you cannot uh, have a social distance. And there are many question marks. There is big issue in Croatia uh, because of the tennis, because the tennis, they wanted to start earlier. And then our one of the biggest epidemiologists, he said, like, it's uh, imagine if someone uh, cough in the ball during the game, during the game, and after the other one takes this same ball. And it was really big, big issue in, in Croatia regarding this. He said that tennis is also not a safe sport. And uh, I know it's very hard for the athletes now to resume and they are very afraid of uh, getting infected and also to not infect their families and the, and the old ones. But uh, ITTF, uh, uh, hopefully they will, they will produce one, one uh, specific sport guidelines for you guys that you know how you can behave in the future. Of course, of course, of course. must be. Yes, yes, of course. Um, maybe uh, yeah. maybe one more, uh, Dominique, uh, for uh, the players. Maybe uh, Adriana, what do you think wearing the, 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 the gloves uh, uh, on the free hand? Uh, well, I think it's going to be a little bit weird and it, it will get like time to get used to it. But uh, like the other players said, I think we need time. And let's just wait, see, uh, see what ha uh, what happened. And I don't know. I don't know if I could play with gloves. I'm not sure, but <laughs> who knows? Okay. Thank you, Dominic. Yeah, I I would be interested in the opinion of our uh, high performance uh, director, Polona. What what do you think about this topic? Yeah, thank you, Dominic. Um, actually, I agree very much with um, Zoran. Obviously, also what was discussed yesterday during the executive committee, and within our department, we have already started working. Um, and say already because uh, there have been so many different information there is actually very little confirmed and known about the virus how, how it's exactly how long does it stay on different surfaces and on different types of surfaces so one thing is the game itself with the ball with the double and all that uh, the panelists have already mentioned but then there is a whole bunch of things that we can do Uh, to increase, let's say, the, the hygiene measures within uh, the venues, uh, social distancing uh, during transportation uh, from the venue hotel. We all know how these things work. So there is um, a very lot of work to be done. And we are, um, uh, that we believe are definitely uh, the highest authority and the most rightful, let's say, um, to follow. And also, so I have produced already some guide, uh, what advised by them is it uh, based on the specifics of our sports, as we mentioned, either it's gloves. Uh, there was also a question from Michael about the uh, mask. We to the option of playing with the protection mask. Uh, Hello. And uh, to get involved, have to. There's something wrong in the. Sorry, you don't hear me. Now it's now it's better, Polona. The connection is yeah. better. Okay, sorry. A few few, uh, no, few, 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 few <laughs> couldn't hear you. Okay, I was saying that then obviously each and every uh, participant we also have to adhere to the rules imposed by their national health authorities, especially critical or possibly critical when getting back home. So hopefully um, a vaccine would be found or a medicine would be found as soon as possible because this seems to be the only real solution actually. All the rest are improvisations and, and taking precautions, but not solutions. Thank you very much, Polona, and uh, yeah, we are we are all very happy that uh, the ITTF is working working on that issue, and uh, I'm sure they will come up with something very great and 
that everybody will will be safe. This is the most important thing and healthy. Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. So there is also one more question from Nicola. Uh, also uh, to Ooh. our panelists. Uh, do you take opportunity of the confining to work on your athlete career transition plan? Dina, what about you? Uh, to be honest, I still haven't uh, worked on that, but uh, last week, actually, I just got this idea of starting to maybe take an online course in my career, which is uh, I, stud I studied uh, business administration with concentration in marketing. So, yeah, I had this idea lately of trying to maybe take an online course and, and trying to plan for the future after my table tennis career. I think this would be very important, and I think this is a chance this time yeah is, is a chance for anyone to to think of future plans or after the table tennis career is finished thank you very much also very interesting insights and uh, what about you robbie yes uh, yes um good time studying uh, i start last year end of the year december studying nutrition coaching but I'm really in the beginning and I'm a really bad student because I, in these last uh, seven weeks, um, I didn't study uh, much. Uh, I start, I, because I didn't know what will happen, how we will do, but Zoki make a good points. Uh, you, have, you have to make uh, organization uh, for every each day, everything, every day. Um, and now that came out that in July we, we will also not play. So uh, we have again three months uh, to for the next tournament that I think then I can uh, organize a little bit better, maybe keep a little bit out table tennis on the table um, and maybe study a little bit more. It's, it's an opportunity. I think it's better not to waste it uh, to win time. Uh, I already have a very good service, a very good new service in these uh, seven weeks. I, I improved my uh, some new services. so. Now I can improve maybe my uh, study a little bit more. Also very interesting, Robi. And also we are very curious about your new surf. We are looking for <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, also another question arised um, by Steve. Uh, also uh, to the panelists, how about using multiple system with a new ball for each point? Then pools are collected contactless with ball retriever, cleaned and recluded prior to the match. Additional players would choose ends at the start of the match, but stay on same end of the table for every game of each match. Uh, Sharad, what do you think about this uh, suggestion? I think I think uh, the suggestion is is pretty good. Uh, yeah, but then this is oh, this is I think probably uh, you, we are just thinking only from the match point of view because there's there's a lot more to a, to a tournament, not just a match. Yeah, first thing we need to come on a flight. So uh, yeah, already there social distancing and when will the flight such and that. That's a major issue. And then practice hall. And then, you know, so many people in the hall. So I think all of these are many more issues. This, of course, yes, during the during the uh, matches, that, that could be a very good solution where you have multi-ball, but then you need to choose, uh, yeah, uh, 30, 40 balls. So, oh, okay, what, what happens after the set? When, when you collect the ball and you serve again, like let's say, for example, in the first game, I served with a ball. And then the next game, probably that ball goes to the opponent. So we'll have to have a, have, uh, have some uh, system where probably we're sanitizing the ball also. And if we sanitize the ball, is the uh, condition of the ball going to change? You know, the, the material, is it going to react to the sanitizer? So these are these are questions which we need to we need to you know figure out first, and then of course yes if if, if these these are the rules formed by ITTF for the betterment you know for a better uh, uh, situation and uh, betterment of the players of course we are always uh, ready to follow uh, yeah that's that is what I'm thinking yeah. yeah. 
Thank you very much also for your interesting suggestion. And yeah, I totally agree with you. Of course, there has to be a very, very good plan, you know, because in the end, uh, it's about our, our safety and uh, about our health. So yeah, this is the most important, yeah. So over to Max Massimo. I think there were some more questions. Um, well, uh, there is a there is a question from uh, from uh, Satyan, our friend Satyan Ganasekaran. Hi, Satyan. Uh, you were asking how ITTF will deal with the different uh, different uh, uh, let's say um, situation in different countries. You know, so um, maybe uh, whatever condition we have in China may be different than uh, Japan or in Italy even or other countries. So. Um, I can I can reply on this uh, very very quickly and but then also uh, Zoki can also say something. Of course, uh, as I believe that I, IDTF uh, along with the Athletes Commission should uh, should give uh, uh, some uh, some guidelines uh, in order to uh, when we restore the the competition and so on to give the guidelines how to deal uh, for the health uh, health safety. I don't know. Maybe we we sh we cannot shake the hand anymore. Maybe we can just touch the racket. Uh, maybe we just can make a sign uh, for the players and the uh, umpires and so on. Uh, but definitely, it will be maybe different uh, situation in different countries. So uh, we have to to find the right and proper uh, um, collaboration uh, with the, each uh, local organizers and federation maybe. And uh, to find the, the the proper the proper solution uh, and to make uh, all the players uh, uh, safe uh, when they get back uh, they get back to play. I don't know, uh, Zoran, if you want to add uh, anything else uh, regarding this, how to deal uh, with different uh, you know situation in different countries. Uh, thank you, Massimo, and thank you, Sati, for 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 good question because. I raise this question often during the EC meeting, and this is the basic problem of ITTF. When they when they will resume the competition, some countries will they will have a different kind of uh, 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 travel measures and travel bans, and this will be very very hard to synchronize. And uh, uh, what would be the perfect, uh, uh, most fair uh, outcome? really i i cannot give you the right answer because it can happen that uh, and also when you go to one country when you come back maybe you have to go for 14 days in self self isolation i don't know when the when the virus will have a peak in each country everybody expect that will be the second wave in uh, in europe in the in autumn of of infection everybody speaking very loudly about this the most uh, expert uh, biggest experts in the field of uh, of uh, vi of this virus covid-19 they said it's pretty much uh, it's big possibility that we, that that will have a, a second wave and uh, regarding the sport also as massimo you said you can speak with local organizers and federation but the law of the countries are above that if the players are not allowed to travel that and not any federation or local organized and help them. And it's very, very, very good question for Sati. I cannot give you the good answer, uh, but just what I asked the ITTF to to try to to treat this problem on the basic principle of fairness that every player will have a equal opportunity to compete. Because this is this is the only thing what you have to seek. To, to to achieve the fairness because I know it's we had a big issue also with the with the Qatar and Oman when many players they were not allowed to travel especially these four countries like uh, Korea Iran Italy and Egypt and Dina she she also she can tell us that she was in Qatar she came to airport and that she was not allowed to enter uh, the Qatar and then yeah this was yeah this was not a fair fair for every player and how we can treat this i i don't know <laughs> and i don't i don't know that anyone knows in ittf let's hope that 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 as polona said before the only only way how we will finish this situation will be if we find the vaccine against the covid against coronavirus otherwise it will be really like improvisation 
and and uh, and it will be really like many players will have a, will stay at home. They will not be able to get the important points for Olympics and that's so on and so on. I I don't know what to tell you, but uh, let's hope that that, that that this situation will will come to normal as soon as possible. Super, super, Dominic. Back to you. I think uh, we are already. Wow, time time really flies. This <laughs> is great, uh, great, uh, great session today. Yeah, Dominic. Back to you. Yeah, thank you very much, Max. You are right. I I think uh, this is all the time like this. If it's uh, interesting, if there are interesting topics occur, then the time flies. Yeah. So what we would like to hear now from all our panelists, a final statement from each of you. Uh, continuing the following sentence. It's gonna be all right because and we will, I would like to start with the ladies first. So please, uh, Dina, go ahead. Uh, I can say it's going to be all right because we're strong and anything can pass when you're strong enough and you've been through a lot of difficult times before. Thank you very much. Over to Ariana. Adriana. Okay. Okay, go next. Uh, oh, yes. Over over to over to Robbie. It's gonna be okay because Hi. Uh, it's gonna be okay because um, we find a solution. The medicine is, I think, is quite high level uh, in the world, and uh, we, we we beat the nature. I think uh, if it's coming from the nature, and uh, then I think it will be no problem um, in the future. And um, I think we humans, we are very very strong. We are a very good immunity, and. Um, we improving we are older always uh, every Good. decade we are older and older and i think not even covid 19 can uh, bring us uh, over so that's why i think everything will be all right thank you Robbie. <laughs> thank you and next one uh, Sharad. it's gonna be all right because it's gonna be all right because all of us badly wanted to be when you want it so badly, <laughs> yeah. you will you will get there. <laughs> Thank you. Last last yes. but least, uh, Zoran, please. We would also hear your your uh, finishing sentence. It's not easy to be that smart, but it's gonna be okay because I believe in the. In the human science, as Robbie said, I believe that uh, that uh, our smart uh, scientists, doctors, they will find out uh, uh, how to beat this uh, dirty, ugly virus, and uh, it will be okay because, uh, as I said before, you will you discover the something what you never discovered before in your life. You you discover the, the different things, but you didn't have time to enjoy during uh, this uh, crazy competition life. And uh, it will be good because I hope you will stay healthy, that you will uh, take care about uh, your lovely loved ones, your old ones, your grandfather, grandmother. And uh, after this, I think people will be more united. They will see that they cannot be selfish all over the world. That you think only about uh, money, about their own country, their own own uh, 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 material existence. They have to think about the uh, whole world uh, holistically. That you see that when the virus came, there is no borders, there is no poor, there is no rich, because virus is attacking everyone the same. And that means we have to be the humans to each other. We have to care about each other and. When you treat each other like this, I think then there is a big hope for the world in the future. Thank you very much, Zoran. Uh, we, the ITTF uh, High Performance and Development uh, Department, want to thank you uh, to our panelists uh, for giving so many interesting personal insights and advices. 
And yeah, uh, for all of us uh, now, all of us know how those gr great athletes uh, have dealt so far with the current situation. And I want to thank you also, uh, all our attendees, uh, for your interest and attendance. And I'm looking forward to our next uh, webinar on next Friday at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, Central European Summertime. And the topic will be uh, planning for training and competition. Uh, so that's all from my side. Um, and I would like to pass over to Polona and then kindly ask her to pass over to Max. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Dominic. And thanks to the panelists for all the insights and interesting points of view. We sincerely hope that you will be able to get back to the tables and to our usual business, as we said. And thanks to everyone for taking the time and joining us. And for the many questions, unfortunately, some were left uh, unanswered. Uh, but we will continue with the series of the webinars, as Dominic just said. So please stay tuned. Um, the pre-registration uh, you are now familiar with, and also with the other initiatives that we are developing um, within our department in cooperation with the Athletes Commission or with the Empires and Referees Commission in order to uh, facilitate to these times um, to overcome these challenging times um, all the stakeholders. Take care, stay safe and see you soon. Bye. Yes, I, I also I want to thank uh, all the panelists, Adriana, uh, Dina, Sharat, Roby, Zoki, for the great time uh, you have uh, shared with us. I hope, hope all the attendees uh, got uh, beneficial from uh, from this uh, new initiative from uh, IDTF uh, High Performance and Development. Uh, yes, uh, we have to uh, try to answer to uh, all of your questions, very interesting questions, I have to say. And uh, we will try to do that, uh, give the appointment for uh, this coming uh, Friday, 8 at two o'clock uh, uh, Central uh, European summertime, and uh, we will talk about uh, uh, planning and training, uh, uh, planning for training and competition with the coaches. Uh, next time we will have the, uh, some interesting coaches to share with us their, uh, their views. Thank you very much again, and uh, hope you have enjoyed, and uh, next time we will go back, we will make the ball uh, with more spins, I, I'm sure. <coughs> See you. Thank you. Stay healthy. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.